Hello and welcome to JT Hughes. Due to the ongoing situation with COVID-19, I won't be able to sit inside the car with you on the day to show you around and how to use the Honda Jazz. Therefore, please use this video as a quick reference guide. So one of the first things we're gonna do is just to get in and out of the car. So just use your key and just to open up the vehicle. And the second thing we're gonna do is just show you how to adjust the seat. So first of all, this lever here, if you pull that right the way up, that will tilt the back of the chair for you. This one here, if you pump that up or pump it down, that'll raise or lower the seat. Right underneath, you've got a bar here, which is this one here. You pull that right the way up and then slide the seat forwards or backwards. Just take you inside the vehicle now. So one of the first things we're gonna show you on this one in particular, this one being a manual, you have three pedals, you have the clutch, you have the brake, and then you have the accelerator. So to start this car, you'll need to put your foot right the way down on the brake and the clutch, and then just turn the key and the engine will start. You can take everything off now. Just to show you first of all then, so this is your information screen. If you click home, this will get you to your main menu where you can choose your radio, which is audio. You can also pay your phone should you wish. All you need to do is simply press phone and follow the prompts. Some general housekeeping now. Your hazard lights are just here. Your air conditioning and climate control is all just located here. You have your fan speed. You obviously have your temperature and then you obviously have your uh, direction of the airflow. You have a six speed manual gearbox. Reverse is quite simply clutch in over and down. Normal handbrake. And you also have an auto stop function on the Honda Jazz. If you don't want the car to auto stop, all you need to do is press that on the start of every ignition. Some of the other functions now, your lights are located on the left hand side. You have automatic, you then have side lights and your main lights. Main beam is away from you, dipped is towards you. However, if you have it on auto, it will automatically main beam and dip for you. On the right hand side, as you can see, are your windscreen wipers. Quite simply, the more you push this stalk down, the quicker the windscreen wipers go. Other features include all your information, which is located on the right hand side of the screen. Quite simply, just toggle through, up or down, and that should get you your information. On the right hand side you have all your information here, so how to move your uh, wing mirrors is just located at the top. Make sure if you want to move the right one, the L and R button is clicked all the way to the right. And to move the left wing mirror, make sure it's clicked all the way to the left. And then just use the directional keypad. You can open and, and uh, close all your electric windows just via here also. One last thing just to quickly show you. You have your fuel cap which is located here, pull that towards you and that is located right in the back of the car, just here. Another feature is your bonnet release switch, which is just here, pull that towards you. Open the bonnet there, and as you can see, now JT Hughes will obviously check the vehicle prior to you having it. However, you have your dipstick there, which is on the orange, your washer fluid bottle, which is just there, and things like your battery and engine leave that to us. So there we have it, a quick guide to how to work the Honda Jazz. Any issues or any questions, please contact us for more information.